Hey guys, welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today, Chase and I are sharing an assumptions video with you. So if you wanna see it, then just stay tuned. So over on Instagram, I asked you guys questions for this video or your assumptions about not only me, but Chase. So we're just gonna kinda go back and forth. I'm gonna go in the order um, kind of that they were sent. So the first one's for Chase and it says they assume he has a genius IQ. Genius IQ? <laughs> I wouldn't say genius IQ. <laughs> but he's smart and it came easy. Like we both made really good grades, but I like studied and did stuff. Where he I'm more was... book smarts than street smarts. Yes. She got more of the street smarts. Yes. Okay. The next one is that you are very, very patient. Yeah. Very. I'm patient. Very patient. He wants to start YouTube also. Ooh, I don't think so. It, it'd, yeah. be, it'd be way too much with her channel and my, I don't, if I did one, it'd be more of like a trick shot one and that just takes so much time and uh, we don't have that right now. <laughs> <laughs> I assume he wishes he didn't have to eat out often. Uh, I don't mind that. I mean, it's nice to, you know, have a meal at home, but we do that, you I know, three or four times it. a week. Yeah, so. I think we, yeah, we have a good balance, definitely. Um, this one's for me. It says they assume you never relax in sweats with no makeup and watch movies all day. Not since starting YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Even before YouTube, like I would relax and watch movies, but I, ha I always have my makeup on. Does yoga pants count as sweatpants? Because yeah. I always yeah. have yoga pants on. Yeah, I think yoga uh, pants count. But I've never been a person that could do it all day long. Like I'm that person in the movie. I like get up and She's do fidgety. the dishes. Yeah, <laughs> it's not fidgety. It's just housework has to get right. done. <laughs> They assume you have a bad temper. A bad temper? I don't, I don't have a bad temper, right? <clears throat> he never gets mad. When he does, I think I'm always shocked of like what it is, like what right. it's about, but he yeah. doesn't get mad often. I'm not a fighter. <laughs> I assume he is so chill and he's not a fighter. You're right, you yep, go. I am chill. He wishes he had a son. No, I mean, whenever we, whenever we were pregnant, we were hoping for a boy. Um, I don't know why exactly, but we were I wanting a boy. It's because my sister had just had a girl. And so my dad had like me and my sister and then my sister had a girl. So like my side of the family has no boys. So right. I think we were just hoping to get a boy. And I played baseball and yeah. different sports. So I thought it'd be cool to have a boy. But once we had Savannah, oh my gosh. I've never, never had a, you know, yeah. never, yeah. Had a desire to have a boy really. God gives you what, what you need. Yeah. He's always quiet and shy. I wouldn't say always, but uh, you know, for the most part, I'm pretty quiet and shy. But once I get going yeah. around the right group of people, right. then I'm pretty outgoing. Um, he gets annoyed with all the rearranging. Be careful here. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't annoy me too much. The only thing that does annoy me is if it's like, wall, you know, if I have to hang pictures up again and uh, shelves, you know, like right yeah. back here. Um, that's the only thing that probably I annoys me. I think you me, just but... roll with it now. When we first were married, he was like, I don't understand. Cause his it's true, because mom... nobody was seeing it. It was just us. Yeah. But now, I guess everybody sees it, so I don't Well, mind. and his mom doesn't ever change anything. Right. So, and then he married me, and it's like... He was like, why, why would we change it? I'm yeah. like, because I just want something. I was it. raised, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And hers is, if you've had it for a month, then switch it out. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it got worse when I became a stay-at-home mom. I did it a little bit in our apartment in that guest bedroom because I could never figure it out. But then once you're at home and you just stare at your stuff by a month, you're sick of staring at it. It's yep. time to change it up. Another one is he's bossy. Not bossy. Not that would be hard. <laughs> like, I'm the bossy one. Um, he's always in a good mood. Nothing seems to bother him for the most part. Yeah. Good. I think he is in the military and goes on secret ops for the U.S. government. Funny but serious. If I was, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> it's top secret. You're a pushover for me and Savannah. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Man, you guys are good. These assumptions. He's an accountant. Yeah, I'm an analyst at a bank, yeah. so. Still numbers. Close. To me, I wouldn't know the difference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, he talks a lot and sometimes that annoys you. It's not so much, Chase doesn't talk a lot, but when he finally does talk, it's just real slow and drawn out. He's like not in a hurry to get to the end. And I'm like, let's go, just spit it out. Like, just get it out and let's move on. Especially when we're vlogging, because I'm like, this vlog cannot be an hour long. Just Yeah, you've probably been able to tell Get to the point. She'll, she'll cut me mid-sentence sometimes. <laughs> like, we can't be here all day. We need some about you. It, it'll get down there. Okay. Um, let's see here. 
You have never lost your cool with your daughter. This is to me, AK yelled. Uh, I do that daily, probably. Yeah. I, I lose my cool with her. Um, not she's always, nine, so but it was inevitable. It was gonna happen. So she's a good kid, but oh, there's yeah. always, we're still, we're human. Oh, like, yeah. We're not any different than you guys. Let's see. You make big issues from small things. I would agree with that for her. <laughs> yeah, that's a good assumption. Yes, uh, that's funny. I won't go okay. into any examples. Go ahead if you want to. <laughs> no. Okay, let uh, me go back in here. <laughs> These are really good assumptions. Most of them are true so far. Okay, it cut me off, so I'm gonna have to like do all mine and then we'll go back to some of yours that we didn't finish, but I think we finished up most of yours. Yeah. <laughs> um, they assume that you and your husband and Savannah don't go out much. We actually go out a lot. Like once yeah. he gets home or we can just cause I'm home all week that by the time Chase gets home, I'm like, okay, what do you want to do? Where do you want to go? Now not so, like, yeah, I'm not going out, you know, but to, like I want to go to Ross or let's go out to dinner. It's dinner or, or stores, but yeah. it's nowhere. We're not doing anything uh, fancy. You've always wanted one child. People always questioned you on it. Your life, your choice, you're happy. I actually didn't. I wanted three and I think you wanted two. I wanted two. So, and Chase is an only child. And then we had Savannah and I don't know, we just, we kept saying every few months we'll go back and revisit it and i would have had a child if chase wanted another one and he would have done the same for me but we just never had that yeah. desire for another one and i'm one of those when i want something i want it yesterday so i just never wanted to have a child because we were supposed to right so that was just our choice um you're the kindest person around that's from callie oh callie now you know better than that she knows our buying the house story <laughs> You're, so, yeah. you're a tough if something's not going her way, she's not the kindest person. <laughs> I just, I think our problem is people don't do their jobs anymore. And I try to go the nice route. Like when you have to work with like AT&T or buying a house, if everybody just did their job, totally fine. Yeah. Nobody does their job anymore. Right. And if you're nice, you get this far. As soon as you get a little angry, you get, you get done. stuff done. And so I hate that they make you do that. Yeah. But, they but other than that, she is very kind for sure. They assume that we really did forget our first dance song at your wedding. We seriously did. I text did. my mom. She's going to pull out our video and our wedding book, but we still have no idea. <laughs> I, think, I think it was some country song by a guy. I'm sure. Seems like most are. They assumed that I would be an awesome shopping partner finding all those deals. Yep. Yeah. I can do that. Definitely. Um, when you were a teenager, your bedroom was always tidy and clean. Um, it wasn't as, um, decluttered. It was always clean. Like I had to wake up and make my bed and open up my blinds. Um, and I was always like a tidy person, but I had a lot of stuff. I didn't really do the declutter until right before we moved from our old house to this house. I like cleared out. I'm like, we're not moving stuff we don't no longer need. And so I just did a full declutter thing. You got married right after high school, not right after. So we were in the same grade, but I graduated a year early and went off to UCO and Edmond. Mm -hmm. And I was there. Uh, two years. I think three. Three? I think I was there three Oh yeah, years. I guess you were three. And then junior. I came back. So we got married at. 20. 20. So I graduated at 17 and we got married at 20. Yeah. So and I graduated at 18. It was a few years. <laughs> yeah. It was two years for me, three years for her. Um, you have your life together. Uh, for the most part. But yeah. that's just because I'm a planner. Yeah. I assume that you are mostly a positive person. Everyone has their moments, but you try to be positive. For them. Yeah. Yeah, you should, yeah. You're more positive than me. Yeah. I call them negative. Oh, I can't and, say it. <laughs> um, it's not. Yeah. It's I our am, last name, so I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am. I guess I'm. I wouldn't say negative. I just. I'm really good, especially when it comes to like finding deals or buying things. I look at the bad things about them first. Yeah. So I guess that can be negativity, but I'm, so, I find why that might not be the best reason to buy something instead of, you know, there could be 10 reasons that it's great to buy something, but I'll point out the two bad things first and then I can list the 10 good things. But is, the first thing I say is the bad and that drives me nuts. It's so hard when you want to like <laughs> go have it, like when I finally get to get, when I say a new car, a used car, like I want to walk up and be like, it's shiny, it has heated seats, it's got this. And he's like, well, it needs to do this, that. And I'm like, yeah. you take all, like it's killjoy. <laughs> It's smart, but I'm like, can we just name a few yeah, nice things? I think I'm more things. realistic, not negative. I'm just realistic. And I live in the dream and world. And she's positive. <laughs> oh my, oh my. Um, I assume that you have beautiful handwriting. You assumed wrong. It's terrible. 
What about yeah. your handwriting? Mine's not great. Yeah. No, mine's bad. I wish I did, but it's not. Mine's bad. Um, you don't have a lot of friends outside of family, even though you're super nice and friendly. Not really. The ones I do have are super close and they're super convenient. So, um, like some of my good friends are just right here that literally live next door. Like they surround me and those yeah. are the best because we can see each other when we're outside and we cook for each other and hang out, but then I can just go home when I'm done. Right. <laughs> so it's like right here. Yeah. And then I have another really good friend that's a dance mom. Um, Savannah and her daughter have taken classes together for years and we have the best coming to Jesus talks why the girls are dancing and just life talks. She is, she's a little bit older than me. So like she has just poured so much wisdom on me that um, I can't imagine not having dance class. I always say dance class is worth the money because it's like Savannah's activity and therapy for me. Yeah. Like it's all combined <laughs> into one. You are very well mannered even at home. Yes. Yeah. Um, that you're a very kind person and a great mama. I hope so. I try. Yeah. <laughs> I mess up though. I'm not always, I'm not perfect by any means. You struggle with the mess when your daughter was a toddler. I actually didn't, which is crazy. I yeah. even have a picture I sent to Chase cracking up one day that like we had like 10 different devices out. There was like the bouncer, the jumper, the swing, this, and I don't know. I guess it's when it comes to Savannah, it's not as a big a deal, but. Yeah, we, I was gonna say it was pretty messy. We are not messy, we just had things out. We never worried about picking it up. I think I knew it was the time of my life. And Savannah was never bad that I had to like take my decor away. So I still had like my pretty house. There was just baby stuff in it, yeah. but she was never one of those. Like I used to have a lot more decor and tables and shelves and she never touched it when yeah. she was growing up. <laughs> um, they assume we don't want more kids. I mean, that's where we are right now. Yeah. So, I mean, we, God can pull a fast one on us, but <laughs> our, our goal is we're done. So, yep. um, they assumed YouTube has helped me to grow stronger and made me believe in myself more. Um, absolutely. Yeah. So it I has. didn't think, I still don't know how I do this some days. Uh, I mean, yeah. There's still hard days where things can get to her for sure, uh, but yeah. she's definitely grown thicker skin and realize that um i will say this whole <laughs> youtube thing they like took away my comments and then we had to put our comments like they're being held so basically for you guys to see your comment i have to see it and review it before it goes out and i like that because those hateful nasty comments don't even get a platform and then how we've been doing it is chase is the one approving those so i don't even see those and i feel like that's made a huge difference i have a very sensitive soul so when i read something yeah. <laughs> it affects me like i can't drop it quickly i eventually drop it but it like is like a knife every single time Yeah, even knowing we don't know who the person is and we haven't seen them before and we don't know where they live it still hurts her and i try to say you don't know this person don't worry about it i but can't rationalize she, it once she hears it, it, it she can dwell on it so it's so funny the next one is that you're a sensitive soul who takes things to heart absolutely yeah like i'm very sensitive so you too <clears throat> Yeah, YouTube, YouTube, it can be tough for her. Yeah. yeah. And she I'm also it. like anti so I don't know. It's like for every reason, I should not be a good YouTuber. <laughs> right, because we don't do social media. Like yeah. we never did social media before. Um, so especially Facebook, we never touch Facebook. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we never were one to put pictures out there and to make posts on any platform. So this yeah. is different for sure, but it's been awesome. Um, they assume we never drink alcohol. We don't. I mean, I tried. I've tried stuff, and I've never liked it. Yeah, we've tried, but nothing question. tastes good. And yeah. so, if it doesn't taste good, we've never had desire, really. Yeah. I don't know. I guess we never acquired the taste or took the time to. We acquire don't like. It, but. I mean, it's also kind of a church thing. It's kind of a taste thing. It's kind of like we want to be good examples. It's kind of like a little bit. Of, we get that question a lot of why we don't. Yeah. Um, you put makeup on every day. Yes. I have been so sick today. I have a cold. I've even taken a nap and like I wake up, get ready and put my makeup yeah, on. Like, she just fills, she fills herself with makeup on. I mean, that's just her thing. You're a very organized person and you get irritated if it gets messed up. Yep. You know, <laughs> what you talked about when Savannah was little, I did and now it drives me bonkers. <laughs> And I think now, because I know it's so much harder, like I used to have all the time in the world, like when I didn't work on YouTube. So it's like, oh, it's fine, I'll clean it up later. But now I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah. I'm exhausted. Like I don't want to have to clean. Like I just, I kid you not, you guys just watched on Sunday my deep kitchen cleaning. It took me like two, two and a half hours to film that video. It was spotless. Chase came in and 45 minutes later, I was like, look at my kitchen. Like you can't even tell I cleaned it. And that so that's because of me? Yeah, it doesn't take long for sure to get it messy around here. 
you never openly show affection to Chase. I don't feel like I do on camera just because I feel like it seems fake, even though it's not. I don't know. Right. I don't want it to seem stagey. True. But you're very conservative. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I assume that we could be BFFs. Absolutely. Sure. You still have the wet and wild blush you showed us in a video and haven't bought a new one. I actually had to. I had that thing for years and it was while I was trying to find a new base, my face kept breaking out and I just finally assumed it was the blush because it was so old. I don't think it was. I think my skin was getting so dried out, but I actually bought a new one and I don't like it. I wish I had my other one. I wish I would have kept it. You don't like cats. Um, you, they, you don't they, prefer. I yeah. don't prefer them. They kind of freak me out. I don't mind if they come up or they're friends, but I just... When she looks them in the eyes, she gets a little yeah. nervous. Like, I don't... Yeah, I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, you always had really good grades in school. I did, but I yeah. worked for it. So it wasn't like... Not that it was super hard, but it wasn't super easy like this one. Um, you grew up going to church with your family. It was very off and on. Um, I feel like we had seasons where we went to church a lot and then we had seasons where we didn't. Um, so it, I definitely wasn't raised in a home where it was like every Sunday you're there. Mm -hmm. um, you did. Yeah. So you were popular in high school. It depends what you're, you're referring to. <laughs> so from six to about ninth grade, yes. Yeah. At ninth grade, um, I decided, or 10th, I decided to stop cheerleading so that I could start working towards graduating early and like things went south fast <laughs> and I thought it would be funny my immature self to get like x cheer on my license plate of my car <laughs> like ex cheer um my car like got slashed I had a convertible Mustang and I slashed it or I would be at like a baseball game watching Chase or the other guys and I'd leave my top down and they would like throw huge sonic drinks in mm -hmm. my last two years of school were horrible like uh, i'm yeah. talking like eating in the bathroom stall during lunch right. crying like i'd be at her house at night we were watching a movie and we'd hear just like loud hits on the front door and it was eggs hitting the front door just because yeah. she quit cheerleading so basically stupid. my dad started parking outside so i could park inside but one time i got home late and um i just parked outside and that was the night that they slashed my car top and they stole stole my stereo, stereo. cds everything that was in my car so Dumb high school. high school stuff. That's yeah. why she got out early. Go on to college with some I was mature people. So excited <laughs> to move to admin. You grew up with money. This is like an iffy one. I feel like I was very average. Yeah. Because I, I had everything yeah. I needed. Right. And the stuff we did have was nice, but I did not come from like, I wasn't no. the rich kid. Right. Neither one of us no. grew up with, I mean, it was just normal incomes, kind of like how we, yeah. we were until you started doing YouTube. Um, yeah. Just very, you know, median. Very, yeah. But we were able to get things we needed and occasionally things we wanted. But I, like, sure. I started getting nails in third grade and yeah. had those all the way up. My hair, like we went to the nicest salon. So, I mean, yeah. but my parents weren't also as good with money back then as they are now so i had everything i needed and more but i definitely wasn't like the rich kid mm -hmm. so somewhere around there but when we got married i went from like being average to like <laughs> then we were like broke. poverty level <laughs> i was like what <laughs> was um you think you're better than other women absolutely not guys i am a i still don't know why you guys watch me like i am just a stay-at-home mom that likes to clean that has zero editing skills who is not social um I fail. I don't know. It's like I'm I'm your normal average person. Like yeah, and and another assumption that like friends and neighbors will make is like they don't want Ashley to come in their house because yeah. they know she has this YouTube channel. They're she keeps her house open. Like, and they're like, oh no, I don't think you can. You, you don't want to see my house. And she's like, I, I don't care. care. Less. She's like, I like my house clean, but I don't care if your house is dirty. Like we don't judge. Yeah. We don't care. We know it's a lot of work, but that's just what she likes to do. But she doesn't expect everybody no, to do that. Never. So I, that's an assumption yeah. that she expects everybody to have a perfect house and and i clean. hate that like yeah. i hate when people apologize i'm like please don't now if you want help I'm like i'm there i'll come oh, yeah. clean out your cabinets i'll come organize i'll do whatever if you ask but i'm not gonna say a word i could yeah that's your house and your style and i i honestly if you're watching i don't care yep um you read your bible every day i mean there are days that i miss but yes i wake up and i have the life church bible app and i do devotionals on there if for some reason the morning gets busy i try to do it before i go to bed but I just feel like you need to feed your soul. Um, I assume if you weren't a YouTuber, you would love doing professional organizing or interior decorating. I am. I love those things. Those are talents I have, 
but being the awkwardly social person that I am, I do not want to go into a stranger's home and do that. Yeah. Now, if I could have like my sister with me or like a buddy, I'm really good with buddy situations. Like if Chase could come in with me and just sit there, I could probably do it as a job, but I can't go in by myself. I don't know. Yeah. Does that make sense? I don't know. And you've mentioned before, if you like interior decorating, if somebody gave you a budget of two hundred dollars to redo a whole room, she would be more comfortable with that than if they said we got five thousand dollars for even two thousand. I'd be like, I don't, I can't. She would panic with that <laughs> and wouldn't know what to do with five thousand dollars because we're so used to finding the deals yeah. and the used stuff. And yeah. I'm just better at being thrifty. And I, with interior design, normally if you have the money to hire somebody in interior design, you're wanting higher end stuff, and I just don't know how to do that. Right. I don't know how to break up the percentage. Um, you work almost daily. Oh, you've worked out almost daily and that you love coffee and it's random. I, no. <laughs> I think they knew that I worked out every day when I was pregnant with Savannah. If I could do that now, but, and I, this first year on YouTube was like the one year. I don't think I worked out once other than like cleaning. I feel like cleaning keeps me active. Yeah. Like I'm up, like you get hot and sweaty. But um, normally in our old neighborhood, we had sidewalks. So I would walk like twice a day or run. Out here there's no sidewalks and there's like crazy dogs. <laughs> so it's hard to get out, especially without Chase. Um, but no, I don't work out. <laughs> Do they assume that I make more money than Chase? I am currently. Yep, that is true. That is so, true. It's amazing what YouTube can do and your guys' support. So thank you. Um, you're super tidy and organized. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. I assume you were almost six foot tall. I don't know if they're referring to you or me. Yeah, surely not her. Yeah. Because I'm five three, and that's like yeah, maybe five four stretched yeah. out. What are you? I guess the camera stretches you out if they're talking about you. Yeah. I'm six one, so maybe they're talking about me. It says I should know this, but I have a question. How did you come up with your YouTube channel name? So this is a little just. Oh, yeah. Chase came up with it. We knew we wanted it to do something with like cleaning related and they, I love vacuuming. And so he just started like, I just started putting vacuum into a bunch of different <laughs> phrases and sentences. When he and said to vacuum do his part, I was like, that's it. Stop. Yeah. Everything else we didn't like. And as soon as I spit that out, she really liked it. I assume your engagement ring is more than 12,000. It's, yes, it's right, right at it. There. It is um, right at it. And that's Which was all cash, by the way, no yeah. debt. So Chase grew up, he was a saver, and his parents were savers. So like, you know when like grandma sent you twenty dollars for your birthday and you went out and bought candy or ice cream? Chase saved it. I like, put it in the savings account and then I put that in a CD <laughs> and I did that year after year after year while I was young. And then he met me, or well, he would nerd me, but yeah, once you did. Yeah, so I didn't know what I was saving for, but that ended up being what I was saving for that whole time. Yeah, right now they're going, oh, is it worth it? <laughs> <laughs> totally. And that wasn't the first ring. I will say the first ring was much cheaper than that. Still, it was, well, it was half. It was half. Yeah, the first ring. And then the other ring. So at five year, we upgraded. And yeah. how I convinced him of that, I don't well, yeah, I gave her the choice between a, a car okay, yeah. uh, because she needed a car at the time. And so I gave her the choice between a car or this five year ring, basically. And she chose the ring. <laughs> I mean, and then her old car blew in it, it blew the engine <laughs> on the highway like two months later. So she got a car anyways. But <laughs> hey, it all worked out. <laughs> it was still out, a modest car and used with 100,000 um, miles. So it wasn't expensive. Yeah. But We've still. never had a new car. Yeah. Okay, you would never move from Oklahoma. It would have to be like. I don't know. Yes. It'd have to be wouldn't. family moved. Yeah. All of our family it's moved. Family. And so we moved with them, but so it'd be hard to move. My family's here and Chase's family's here. So they wouldn't let us move, especially with Savannah. Now she would move definitely once Savannah gets old enough. And if she moves away, oh, she moves we'd I'm follow her. I'm sure we'd yeah. follow her. <laughs> the day she moves out of the state, like my, I'm going to have a for sale sign out there. And but before then, no. No. Um, I assume that you make a lot of money or at least will when your channel grows. Um, that's the thing about YouTube. It's just every month's different. It fluctuates. And, um, especially with all the YouTube stuff going on right now, but we're still doing fine because you guys are totally supporting me. Yeah, you guys um, are awesome for sure. But yeah, obviously the bigger your channel gets, it's just you get bigger like sponsorships and um, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, sorry, some of these are like repeated over and over. I assume you love cleaning. Absolutely. It's a little bit harder now that it's my job, but I still love it. Germaphobe. Oh, where'd you see that? Oh yeah, down here. So this one's like, um, 
they assume that you are a bit or you have a bit of social anxiety and that's why you like being at home or you're a germaphobe. It's more the social Social anxiety. Because anxiety. she's not I a mean, germaphobe. I am like bathrooms. Like if you walk into a bathroom, I don't want you coming home and putting your shoes on my sofa. <laughs> but I've never been like, wash I mean, hands. I wash my hands, right. but I've but, never been like super crazy. With yeah. Um, you would think with all the cleaning that she would be more of a germaphobe, but she's really I'm not. really not. I'm more organized. Yeah. I'm not so much a cleaner. I'm just, it's about clutter. clutter. I don't she want hates clutter. Stuff Germs left don't out. bother me as much as clutter. Um, they assume I'm overprotective of Savannah. Oh, good assumption. <laughs> good assumption. I just love her. I want to keep her safe. She's getting better, but she was helicopter mom for a long time and still is on the spectrum of a helicopter mom. Somebody put um, that my cleaning videos are my least favorite videos to film. And I kind of agree with that just because some videos are really easy to film, but then hard to edit. And some are hard to edit, but easy to film. Did I say that the right way? Yeah. Cleaning videos are both. They're time consuming to film and then they're time consuming to edit. So it's not that I don't enjoy it. It's just like a vlog I can whip out like that. I just yeah. get to go along with my day where cleaning videos, I'm always trying to think of new angles and I'm trying to clean while I'm doing it and trying to keep Savannah happy. So there's just a lot going on. And then when I edit those, um, well, like the ones with voiceovers, it's just, it's very time consuming. Well, and how many clips do you usually have? Video clips on a cleaning <laughs> oh. video. Don't you have like 70 or 80? Yeah, that I'm trying to put it so all she together. She has 70 or 80 different clips. So that's a lot of piecing together for sure with all the angles. They assume we're low key rich. <laughs> no, we're not low key rich. I mean, we're doing better now, for sure, but with YouTube, but prior to this year, um, no. We but if we ever had money, we would be the ones that, we like, would be. like, we have our used cars. Like, I could afford, Yeah. I have the, the money to have a nice car payment if I want one, but to me, just because you can afford the payment doesn't mean you can afford the car. Right. But the money we're bringing in, we could have payments on everything. We could be living life, but it's like we save more than we're spending. Like, oh, yeah. it's all about but Yeah, I'd say we're better off now for sure, but uh, I wouldn't categorize this as rich and just hiding it. We're just doing well with our money. We're just good with our money. Okay, we're almost done. Somebody said, we, I assume he loves sandwiches and chips. It's from Callie. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's gotta, be, it's gotta be Callie to know that. Callie's his old work buddy, but yep. she had babies and decided to stay at home. So we were excited for her, but I miss the Callie stories. Like, she's so funny. Yep, sandwich and chips. That's my favorite. <laughs> okay, there's a few on here I can't answer. This is a family channel and you guys got a little risque rated R questions. So I'm just gonna skip those. Um, <laughs> He really wanted to go pro in sports. That's the last one. Yeah, I mean, baseball would be the only sport that I would be good enough at to even have a chance to go pro. But, uh, but did you want I, to? I didn't want to because uh, I knew the life that comes with it because I you know, had people um, older than me that had graduated and got in the minor league system, but it's not a family. You know, it's just hard on a family situation. I knew that I wanted to, you know, have a family. I wanted to make money. I know a lot of people that go off to, you know, they don't go to college. They go straight into the minor leagues and they go there for six, seven years and never make it. And then they don't have a degree, didn't make much money and they got to start over. And I was wanting to, I had a part-time job through college and I just wanted to stick that out. Um, so yeah, I never wanted to pursue playing major league baseball. And he for made sure. that decision before we were together. Yeah, like that, that was in the time that I was, it was actually my uh, senior year of high school. I decided that I wasn't going to pursue it anymore, yeah. and it was mainly just so I could start a life because I I was a position player and to be a you're position. Realistic. Yeah, I was realistic. It to, goes be a back to be I could have been dreaming and done it yeah. like a lot of my friends, but they ended up after four years dropping out and they had to start over with their lives. And I just wanted I knew I probably wasn't going to be any type of starter as a position player on a major league baseball team because you got to be a stud to be so a pitcher. Chase, there's more spots open for that, but yeah. I was a position player, so that wasn't going to happen. Chase lives a very safe life like this. He's never going to make it like a crazy decision and then I'm like do do yeah. do 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 so it kind of works like it kind of makes us true I always say we like if it if it wasn't for Chase I would have this much saved in my savings but if it wasn't for me he would never have that like treat ice cream cone true. so like we balance the, each other out don't you think I think so so and it's taken years to like figure out that balance but I feel like we have it really good now mm -hmm. but it does like at the beginning I was I don't know I just remember being like what was the shock I'm sure it was a shock <laughs> And I, I want to say it was a shock too because my parents didn't teach me much about money. They're great now, but... And it wasn't as bad for you too because you <clears throat> knew you didn't want to work and you wanted to stay at True. home. I just knew to be able to stay at home. We couldn't have debt. 
um, I knew we had to have so much in savings to get there and so I did everything to get that done as quickly as possible yeah and that meant living <clears throat> like I remember my sister had her college degree and she'd come in and have like a new outfit every time I saw her with the matching earrings and bracelets and I remember like it was so hard for me but I kept looking at my list of like but my goal is to be a stay-at-home mom. So like those earrings aren't worth it to me if that keeps me going back to work when I have Savannah. So mm -hmm. I was just very like, this is what has to happen. And Chase had to graduate college. Yeah. And so literally when he walked across the stage, I was pregnant. Yeah. So I'm like, I mean, she's not even come out for nine months. <laughs> so we started trying. Um, and it did. It was nice. Yeah, worked out. So those were all the assumptions about us. I hope you guys got to just kind of learn a little more about us and yeah i think you guys know us pretty well because those do. are good assumptions and we're pretty much an open book most so of them yeah i think we, you knew most things about us for sure but hopefully we, you learned something new we would be even more open like if it was just like here like when people are in our everyday life or text me but it's hard because we don't know who's watching but we're very open book people like especially with like finances and stuff like that we love to use the knowledge we've learned to help others so definitely always feel like you can pm us or talk to us or email us we love you guys so much we really do um i hope you guys have a wonderful week and we'll see you in the next one bye